let's talk about the Tesla holiday update. Now every year, as you may be aware, that Tesla releases uh, a software update during the Christmas time that's normally packed with uh, really cool features. Last year I think they came up with this custom light show uh, and I don't know what they're gonna come up this year. However, there is a lot of uh, news in uh, online that people are speculating some really cool features in the pipeline which we may see this year or, or in next couple of releases. So let's talk about that. Okay, there's a free charging around my house. I found really cool. Okay, here is uh, the free charge Fox charger. I'm going to park my car and try plugging in and I hope that it's still free. I think it will always remain free because it's a uh, part of a council parking. But as long as it's free, good for me. Even though I am on 77%, I really don't need, but I just wanna do a quick demo. So you go on the Charge Forks app, click uh, details, and I'm just going to take this. All right, so it, it has started. You can see it's starting to go from zero kilowatt all the way to 50 kilowatt. That means this is maximum 50 kilowatt uh, charger. I have been here a few times and what I've seen is that with the 50 kilowatt, if you are around 50% to 60%, it takes about 35 45 minutes to get fully charged let's have a look all right so it's showing four kilowatts and slowly i think it will go all the way to 48 50 kilowatt uh, um all right now i'm 77 so i think i should be done in a few minutes maybe i don't know 15 minutes okay while we're charging let's talk about uh, the holiday update. Now there are some really cool features which are in the pipeline and I'm really excited about and I want to share with you. So the first thing is uh, the enhanced sentry mode. Now sentry mode itself is pretty cool as you know you can do a lot of things you can record the clips uh, uh, you know up to 10 minutes or so um, as well as you can view the live sentry mode while you know from wherever you are as long as you have the internet connection but this next update is going to take this on another level because it will give you a freedom to uh, customize the length of the the sentry uh, event so currently I think it's about 10 minutes but if you want more you can go up to 15 20 minutes I think uh, or if you want to make it shorter I think you can do that as well so basically the update talks about customizing the length of the clip which is good um, if you have another hard drive connected to your um, uh, USB port I think then it makes sense to record bigger clips um, I have left it default 10 minutes because currently it doesn't have any option to customize the second uh, enhancement as a part of the sentry mode is um, a lot of people have experienced that when you park your car and if it starts raining or if you parked in on a busy street uh, it, it is recording pretty much every event happening around it and that's consuming your battery uh, at the same time it's also you know filling up your hard drive so to avoid that in the new update you can now disable the cameras um, all the events let's say you parked on a busy street uh, but if someone tries to break into your car that's when it will record if someone breaks into the glass or try to open the door that's when it will trigger 
So I think it's really cool because, you, you know, sometimes, you know, you're going on a long holiday, you park the car, uh, you don't want to completely disable. Uh, you only want to, you know, record if something really um, dangerous happened, like somebody breaks into your house and tries to steal your car. So maybe at that time you want to record. So I think this is a really handy feature. People who are parking the car outside, right, it's, it's good for them. Uh, maybe they don't want to record everything, right, especially when it rains. I have noticed that as well. The car thinks that something is happening around it, so it will just record uh, a lot of clips which are just useless. Dolby Atmos is coming to Tesla. If you've been in any of the Tesla, any Tesla, you know what kind of sound system it has. It just blows your mind. Like, literally, it's amazing, right? Now, when I heard that Dolby Atmos is coming, I just thought about watching movies. I mean, it will just take the experience to the next level. Even now, sometimes I go to Netflix and and watch the action movies, and it's amazing experience. Like watching a movie in the car with all the sound system, like the woofer and everything. It's amazing. Now, having Dolby Atmos, it's not just for the movies. Netflix and Disney and all those services will be able to make use of Dolby Atmos. main app I would say who is going to truly make use of Dolby Atmos is Apple Music yes now you might think Apple Music but it doesn't have Apple Music well Apple Music is also coming to Tesla so Apple Music is one of very few streaming services which supports Dolby Atmos and Dolby Atmos will just make the whole experience even more immersive so you, you can imagine that your car is already sounding way better than $150,000 car, right? And all of a sudden now you have this new feature which is just going to take, you know, they, it's going to make the experience even better. Not just listening to music, but also watching movies. So I can't wait for Dolby Atmos. And on that, <clears throat> if you are curious, um, uh, which other cars have Dolby Atmos? Um, only Lucid have introduced Dolby Atmos as a part of, you know, their one of their, you know, car. Now you know that Dol uh, Lucid is ridiculously expensive. It's not even available uh, to buy. I think <clears throat> they they manufacture at very low uh, volume, but it's a ridiculously expensive. I think it's around 150 to 200 thousand. And apart from that, I think Mercedes and Volvo are also in the process of bringing Dolby Atmos to their cars. But yeah, good on Tesla for introducing Dolby Atmos. So I really can't wait for um, for that feature to be available. <clears throat> now, I also talked about Apple Music. See, I'm an iPhone user and a lot of people who are iPhone users and they also have Apple Music as their music subscription, it's kind of a blocker for them to listen to music because so far what I've been using uh, or doing is you listening to music over the Bluetooth. So if I want to play something, I'll have to talk to my phone, like through Siri, or you know, try to do something on my phone, find a song, and then play it. But with the integration of Apple Music, the whole uh, process, you know, uh, of dealing with the phone is gone, and you are just directly um, doing everything on the screen. So the because of the Apple Music integration, the experience is going to be very seamless, just like Spotify or radio or anything else. You'll be able to see or uh, your library and play music. And the second advantage is that the quality will be much better. So compared to Bluetooth, Apple Music directly playing from Tesla, it's going to improve. And that's where Dolby Atmos is going to play a really significant role as well, because then you can truly, you know, get all those features out of your car. The next feature is uh, not that significant, 
but I think it's really helpful to have and that is transferring your phone calls to the car um, a lot of time if you might have experienced that if you are on an important call and if you're getting into the car the, the phone automatically transfers because your car connects to your Bluetooth and then you have your phone all of a sudden on the speaker and it has this um, weird interruption between you know who you're talking to and you know there's a bit of a disconnect connect and uh, you know that awkward moment so to avoid that what will happen is um, next time if you're on a call and you get into your car the phone won't connect to your car it will ask you it will give you an option do you want to transfer the call if me I'm most in most of the situation I wouldn't transfer the call I'll just get in the car finish the conversation and then move on um, but yes if you want to transfer the call you can do that as well so I think that is a really handy feature um, that will make that whole experience a little bit more seamless the last feature which may come very soon and it is official by the way and uh, that uh, zoom is coming to Tesla zoom calls yes now <clears throat> you may wonder why do you need a zoom calls well why not imagine that you are taking your kids for a game and you need to work uh, you may not need to worry about carrying a laptop because now you can have the conference calls everything through Tesla and this is the first time we will be able to use the, the center camera the, the interior camera as you know it's there but you know, it's we can't access it but uh, through this feature zoom calls we will be able to utilize that camera as well and it's going to be really handy in this type of situation where you have to um, take your kids somewhere and you know you have to wait till they finish their game or let's say you are in a situation like me where I need to charge uh, but I also need to have a meeting why not so this is going to be really really handy but I really wish that uh, now that they have onboarded zoom and soon it's going to happen uh, as it is official now uh, I really look forward to teams as well because I do all my meetings in our organization we use teams and having teams which I'm sure that in the near future it will come it's going to even onboard more people like it will be able to reach more people you know, who use zoom and teams so I think that's fantastic that using a car to be even more productive um, so that's an excellent um, feature to look forward to all right so now we are done with the charging it's 94 percent um, I don't you know I'm hardly took 15 minutes I'm not gonna go all the way to 100 percent and the reason why I'm not going to go all the way to 100 percent is because I'm going to lose the region ability so I want to keep that so let's go and stop the charging <coughs> stop charging you can hear the click that it's unlocked take it out plug it in all right that's gone and you can see here it says it took 15 minutes it total consumption 11 kilovolt and it's free thank you free charging <laughs> council Thank you.